What's up with it, man? It's your boy DJ Mr. Rogers.com, the man, the music, the movement. And this is the Mike Check DVD, man. You already know what it is. Yeah. Mike Check DVD, DJ Mo Fat, live and flesh, the heat model. That's how we do it. What it do is your boy BP coming out that H Town, you know what I'm saying? You watching Mike Check DVD, check, check, Mike Check DVD, you know what I'm saying? That's what it is. I was damn near pushing the whole key. My mind state, part of this criminal crime rate. On the scale of one to ten, I'm pushing the whole weight. I'm up and down the interstate. I'm pushing the whole weight. You can call it my birthday. I'm pushing them whole cakes. I'm bitch quick. At the preservatives, bitch quick. In the telephone, in the back of the trunk of the biscuits. The time I did in the pen for the state, it's all legal. The heat and the hustle, combined with the streets, it's all illegal. They say the kids change, no, just the kids change. Went from nickels to dimes, now the paper I folded that big chain. They say the hood in me, half of the good in me. The other half, them hundred killers behind me, they stood with me. Yeah. Uh, you know through, I come through with connects. I put the hood on connects, I come through with connects. Blaze one hot, man, <laughs> ghost time hey. entertainment. Man. Basically, man, uh, I'm proud of what's up hip hop doing, man. You know what I'm saying? The whole state is this is gravy, it's loud, a lot of people man, a lot of young black people to, to, to live, man, to live in, you know, this they provide occupations. So I, I don't like anything that's not good, you know, provide legit occupations for people, man. My people. You know what I'm saying? Then two is it's, 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 the state of it is cool, man. It, you know, we're excelling. Everybody, I, I went across the country, man. We play riding dirty, you know what I'm saying? They treat it like it's Michael Jackson thriller, man. They loving it, man. It's, and it's crazy. And it's like, now I remember when Chameleon was here, here at the Baby Don't Party handing out Switch House Mix tape. And now he's like on the BMAs getting awards, man. It's, it's crazy, man. So I'm, I'm proud of it. I'm, I'm proud to be a part of it, man, in any way any way I am. You know, if I'm handing out a flyer for somebody, if I'm, you know what I'm saying, DJing Paul Wall's wedding like I did, you know, that's I'm proud to be a part of something like that, man. It's, it's a blessing, man. And, I just hope it goes further. I hope we don't do anything in vain. You know what I'm saying? I hope we don't we don't fall victim. You know what I'm saying? I hope video don't, video don't kill the radio star. You know what I'm saying? I hope that doesn't come and, and applies here to Southern Hip Hop, man. I hope we just keep it selling, man, and keep innovating, bringing out new artists, man, and, and we just you know keep adding fuel to that fire, man. Yeah. And uh, you know, as you know, as a DJ coming out of Prairie View, you know, there's a lot of DJs that go through Prairie View, man. There's a lot of cats right now. That, that, uh, that want to be DJs, you know, and a lot of DJs probably haven't been fortunate enough to make it to where you made it, you know what I'm saying, as, as far as, as, you know, staying with it and, and reaching to, to a top level. What, what, like, inspiration would you give to some of these DJs, man, to, to, uh, to keep them inspired and, and to help them out to, to where they can get to where you at? 
man. Just know that it's a lot of sacrifice, man. I mean, I was co-oping with NASA and Lockheed, and I was a computer engineer. You know, uh, I graduated from computer engineering, but that was my degree, man. And I, I was in there, and I was, it was, a lot of times it was either school work or you know, just street work, man. You know, you're grinding on this DJ stuff, man. There's no time. They don't, they don't care. These parties don't care if you got a test in the morning, man. These clubs don't care if you got finals in the morning, man. And, you know, that was a sacrifice, man. You know, I had to sacrifice on my GPA so I could go out and get this money. You know what I'm saying? And man, I just, I just, I just stuck with it, man. I just had to stay dedicated. You gotta get out there and grind, man. It ain't, it ain't just oh, I'm gonna do a party and then everybody gonna remember me the next day, man. You gotta get that party, you gotta make some noise, you gotta go to the next one, you gotta hit C at the C. I've been on that road, man. I've been driving, man. Put miles on my car, total my car because of this DJ stuff, man. Trying to get to the airport for something, man. I've been in every college campus, man. They, you know, I, I'm the man I PB, but I go somewhere else, and they don't know where I am. I go to TCU, and I'm a new dude, so I gotta prove myself, show prove like this is my first day DJ. Every time when I used to have to do that, man, and you just have to get out there and can't stay consistent, man. Stay in these people's face, man. You gotta sell yourself. You gotta make yourself a product. You gotta make treat yourself not as a DJ, treat yourself as an artist, man. You just really put yourself out there, help these artists build relationships. Network, man. Do everything. Don't think you're too good for anything, man. Do, if it's the smallest, Ricky D, most hood club in the middle of Fifth Ward, man, or if it's the M Bar T Town, man, or if it's a wedding, it's a bar mitzvah, baby shower, man, I done did them all, man. Do it. And yeah. it, it builds networks. You don't never know who's in that crowd, man, that might need you to do something, man. People's in the crowd next to you. I got a call. I was doing a house party, man, at a town home, man. There's probably about 20 people there, man. Dude ended up getting a job with Camel Cigarettes. Now I'm getting contracted with Camel Cigarettes to do parties. They flying me out to do parties. Camel Cigarettes, big parties, man. They fly me out. I don't gotta take no equipment, no speakers, no more, no nothing. I'm getting paid three times as much as I did, man. That's, that's what you gotta do. Just, just get out there, man. And just be no more wrong, man. Run, Turn your click into a pack of fucking lifesavers. I'm from that Fort Worth area, young. These rain never been a bitch, I'll bury you. I spit it for my niggas in the streets who gotta grind. Got a case every time, now they gotta do a time. We play for big paper, big I'm talking big stacks. Big stacks. We feel sluggers, sluggers. We smoke as pets. And we don't hang with rats, no. Cause we don't like the rodents. Cole, I talk the panties off a deaf bitch, nigga. They know I'm reckless with me and drill the thrill. Put the draw up in my chest and I promise I feel the kill. And y'all know I come through giving hoes these erections. Me and Mac Brock come through his roommate, the roommate connection. That's all we had, flying straight on the plane. We gripping grain. And if I come through and it's raining on my paint, it look like we in Spain. I told y'all, y'all better watch. I'm in Lufkin with the nigga Watson. We taking all these bops to the motherfucking courtroom by the block man by the flock uh first of all you know a lot of artists have different influences um on getting them into the rap game some look up to other artists when they were youth and some may have family members that are rapper that never made it uh, what were your influences of you to get into the rap game and to take it serious and, and just go for it wow uh, my first influence is probably i have to say big daddy came um big daddy came slick rick I can, you know, those are my influences before I even believed I could do it. You know, that, that's when I was really just a fan of, of hip hop. You know, um, my main influences that made me want to get into hip hop and feel like I can do it was more like in my era of Biggie, rest in peace, Tupac. Mm -hmm. You know, um, actually, uh, Tupac was the first person I seen perform when I was about 11 years old. Mm -hmm. He performed in Will Wilkins Park in Queens. And then, um, my second experience at, at seeing the show was the night he passed away. And, you know, rest in peace. Um, in '96, I was in seventh grade, and it was a back-to-school concert that my mother took me to. And, you know, um, so I would throw my mother in there too because if it wasn't for her, I probably never would have heard those records drilled in my head as many times. Because whenever I got in her car, that's what I had to listen to the music she liked. And it just so happened she was a fan of you know, the people I ended up being a fan. The third experience I had was in the same building that she took me to. After I told her I was going to be on that stage, of course she didn't believe me. You know, she's like, whatever, well, Sam. <laughs> you know, but, um, I put her in the same section that we sat in when she took me, put the spotlight on her. You know, I mean, that sums up my, my hip hop story right there. You know, um, I would have to say Tupac is my biggest influence. Okay. 
And also, um, you know, there's a lot of a lot of cats out there who say they can freestyle and they get on shows and they say they freestyle and but like cats are spitting written, you know, and they think they're getting away with it. <laughs> so, uh, like, what is your definition of, of a freestyle? Um, well, I, I come from the, the freestyle market, but in all reality, ain't nothing for free. Um, I, I mean, I tip my hat to whoever, you know, you got time to come up the top of your head, and, you know, but, uh, what I do is always, it's a craft, you know, and I study it. And um, I want it to sound like it was studied. You know, there's different ways to do it. The same way every basketball player can dunk. And you know, there's rappers out there that'll bust my ass off the top of the head. I'm a writer. I'm a writer first, I'm a poet, you know, and um, that's where my strength comes from. And um, in the mixtape market, trust me, it ain't, it ain't nobody that could come off the top of the head and, and, and go toe to toe with, with the writers that come out of New York City. So. That's the two differences. You, it's, you know, it's the backpack rap when you just get out there and, you know, my name is Banks, I ride in the tank, and I got the shank, and I stab you, grab you, <laughs> throw you on the ground, and what have you. You know what I'm saying? That's, <laughs> that's freestyle. I could do that for 10 hours straight, but if I really wanted to get my point across to you, I would take the time, and I think people should appreciate that. And uh, also, you know, a lot of a lot of artists and a lot of fans aren't really happy with the state of hip hop right now, of where it's going. Some people say it's a uh, it's more business than really, really into the music and into the you know hip hop. Um, what do you think of the state of hip hop and where it's going right now? Where is that? Yeah, um, well, to the people who are just now coming into that and, and realizing that it's, it's it's a business, it's a business of music. You know, um, it's always been that way. It's just that a lot of the artists didn't have to know about. It. And, and we're getting sucked out their money for a long time. You know, I've met a lot of rappers that I looked up to, and they put me on to things now that I, I happen to know about. I have cousins right now that's 10, 11 years old, and they know what the sound scan is. They know what it is to have a good album. They know what number is good for the first week and what number is mediocre. You know, so time is changing. So if you can say it's turning more business, but hey, man, the reason I got into hip hop was to feed my family. So if, if if I get a, a you know a notch against me because I want to be you know I want to be uh, put on to, to what the game is, then hey, I'll, I'll gladly take that because you can be the best rapper in the world and leave out with a penny, you know, and that's sad, you know. So our business does have to be a part of the game, um, but at the end of the day, music is what opens the door for every other thing you see, every outside venture from. Water, the clothes, the sneakers, the movies, all that comes from the excitement you, you generate in, in hip hop. Um, I can't really speak on the business side of it because music sells itself. You know, um, I think music is in, in, in a state of, um, it's a lot of copycats there. You know, um, you know, what you eat doesn't make me use the bathroom. One man's formula might not be, it might not work for the next man. Find a new lane. That's all I can really say to the artists out there is to find a new lane and do you and don't compromise yourself to sell records. Um, I sure did when we came into the industry. So, I mean, I, I'm here to make good music. I can speak for with my performance and what I do. In 2006, come October 10th, I think they're going to appreciate this album and, and the time that I put into it. Feel the thrill in the All right, we good. Feel the thrill. I'm about to change the gold game. Got X and cocaine. Your ball, I got the rogue game. I'm still pimping hoes, ripping hoes. You know I'm sipping foes, I'm tipping those. And to them, can't walk in my eyes low. Blow the best of the hydro. These niggas be mad. We rolling in them upgraded jags and pitch you labs. We still pimping pins. I got a couple of hoes in Michigan. Now I'm riding on disc again. 84's and been again. And then again, I'm pimping pins like Lil Kiki. You see me? Because I wrecked the flow. On the TV, now this be the fucking hot shit that drop top shit. And I'm the nigga that they bangin' when they ride through the parking lot, bitch. I'm still thoda. I wreck the microphone cause I'm a flower. Still a smoker. When I'm blowing draw, I turn into a choker. Still coughing. And if you flex often, you be up in the coffin. And I ain't trippin', nigga. I Randy Malcolm. I burn hoes, I turn hoes to the sluttiest bitch. Now I'm netting no asses and I'm netting no cheeks. I'm still pimping. These niggas say I'm simping, but I'm bowling now. You can see me flipping the wall jumping now. I'm crawling now. Niggas be mad, cause I be flipping and jagging. Only time I ain't fucking the hoe when that hoe on the pad. I ain't tripping. 
see me shining, you see me grinding, big timing. I'll do interviews with my mouth rolls with diamonds, nigga can't open. Now I got hoes in West Coast, some in Oakland. You probably see me smoking, stuck and chip like a player poking. I'm still hot, the nigga almost lost my breath. If I dodge a faint of the nigga, he about to get knocked out with the left. I'm like Tyson. I'm old school just like him bison Nigga rolling on 20 is Titans Nigga blade steady be slicing Nigga you already know drill the thrill I'm the G Riding in the candy red lack Crawling just like a little centipede Now I'm still going Nigga wreck the flow because I'm doper Nigga we be smoking like locomotives Nigga screams watching Oprah That's that hoe Nigga riding candy red Nigga chain on glow Nigga I'm in the motherfucking lack Four screens watching CB show Nigga like Gusto I bust flows This nigga see me Nigga got an old school hoe the color purple like that bitch see me Nigga see me on TV because I'm big time And I got big shoes that is something big in my jeans pocket I ain't even trippin' These niggas be seeing me grinding the wrecking flows and wrecking hoes Candy red beans with some fucking Lamborghini doors And they raised up just like they at the altar Drew the thriller come through this hoe I told these hoes to call me often They callin' me on my celly I'm dropping screens watching belly If I see a young hoe I ain't gonna let her suck me up I just piss on her like on Kelly Niggas probably see me at the belly Talking about that subway I'm a big nigga but for some reason all the fine hoes love me Niggas never been ugly Them hoes can't do nothing but suck their dick Drew the thrill I'm an honorary member of the Quail Run Click Niggas be wearing red Nigga ain't about to get jacked by no niggas wearing dreads They got the AK with the red beam in the lead band Niggas talking about that shit Nigga I'm a red Nigga got partners on the south side And I got a couple niggas in the west Nigga got partners in Hard Club Got my wood to know it's hard Drew the thrill got the handicap stick And I'm still a legal part Nigga ain't tripping These niggas be knowing I'm ripping up the flow Nigga if y'all know where we at Nigga shit is Hollywood ho And it's the money we pimping These niggas know my name Drew the thrill I gang bang Now I'm about to change the game Nigga I don't even get no quarters Got hoes taking my order Got a senorita that suck my pita Down from the border Niggas be like, God damn, nigga, she's a lesbian, and a whole mess again. Now I'm about to come through this hole and I'll get in between the legs again. I ain't tripping. I fuck the A.T. nigga, fuck the granny, or if she old, she ain't got a thong, but I still put on the panties, and I'm still raw. These niggas already know that I'm so cold. Pull up in the photo, and now I got these bitches in the chokehold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, Tio. What the fuck is up, H-Town? I'm ready, G. Hey, hey, I count shots. Like a wild stick, that's like a wild cop drop. Like a wild hold top. Like a wild play the coast. Like a wild when I blow. Like a wild chick house. Like a wild with the nose. Like a wild who the boss nigga. Get up on it, I've been just a little bit, I act like you want it. 
say, my nigga, we stay on that black shit. You niggas full backs, open a hole, and I got this. You must ain't had to hear to the street, ain't heard the topic. Them ghost time niggas, the truth, them boys toxic. Watch out, bitch, call a locksmith, we finna lock this and flood the block with nothing but that hot shit. You can talk behind closed doors or debate it in public. Ain't gonna be no in between, bitch, you gon' hate it with love. I stay with the oven, let's get that understood, homie. Ain't one ain't going for that little Debbie shit, I put the hood on it. I bet the pumper knock his head right out. When I pull up on this block, I turn the headlights out. These niggas kill me on that fly shit. I got that, and I got this, but really ain't got shit. You cake ass rappers getting ahead of they self. Get some change of recognition and start smelling they self <laughs> like they can't be touched. Like a nigga can't serve them. Get rich and get content like ain't no other rappers emerging. Niggas capping and splurging like cash come out the speakers. We finna dead this shit 06 the year the Reaper. So let me see your flags, all them ticks blazing, and ain't no escaping your final destination. Coming soon to a hood near you, ahead of the game, and standing at these lanes through my rear view. The formula's a little charisma, dancing some wordplay, and game to make your hoe come out the ass on the first day. Yeah. <laughs> Ghost tired, nigga, I'm telling you. Uh, first question I want to ask y'all what got y'all in hip hop? What, what influences uh, when you were growing up made y'all want to become rappers and choose this as a profession? Basically, you know what I'm saying, it made me want to become a rapper, you know what I'm saying? Coming up listening to the older cats, you know what I'm saying? That's like a guy like Too Short, you know what I'm saying? Biggie, you know what I'm saying? Snoop, you know what I'm saying? Just sit back watching all them, you know what I'm saying? Inspire me, you know what I'm saying? Come with the flow, do what I do, you know what I'm saying? Me, you did. It's like you said, when my shit kind of more southern, you did like. Cash money, you know what I'm saying? Big cash money fan, big no limit fan, you know And I like the way everybody put their brain from on the map, you know what I'm saying? I want everybody to see that. It's like I see they do it, you know what I'm saying? So that's one of the reasons why I started rapping. You hear me? That's it, man. Same thing, just different influences. Mind cash money too, you know them. And everybody in Dallas, they been doing that stuff like food and loose and cheap. Just with them, you see, that's what I do my own thing. So, Influences the rap. Ah, you know what I'm saying? It's just people around me, like uh, old school NWA, uh, little Kiki. You know, so I just grew up and wanted to do it. You know what I'm, I'm a musician, so that's what I wanted to do. Just do music, I'm gonna be an artist, I'm gonna represent my city. All right. My second question is, uh, me. I'm from Los Angeles. You know what I mean? But when I came down here, you know, hip hop, hip hop in the South is a lot different than hip hop. You know, everywhere else, y'all kind of have like your own style, like your own your own world of hip hop. You know what I'm saying? And y'all really, you know what I'm saying? Your your base is really on freestyle. You know what I'm saying? I noticed that a lot of cats out here like freestyle and ride a beat and freestyle for like 10 minutes straight. You know what I'm saying? Whereas other places they may focus on rhythm and stuff like that. So for y'all, you know what I'm saying? What what is y'all definition of, of a freestyle? What would you consider to be like an ultimate freestyle? Really coming out the dome. We used to do that a whole lot back in the gap, bro. You know what I'm saying? Right now, it's a lot of rhythm stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, freestyle, you know what I'm saying? For everybody coming out the head, just wrecking back. I heard, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Talk about what's going on. I got on J's. I like the Blaze Hayes. I can go on for days. I like Foxy Bay. You know what I'm saying? It's just something like that. You know what I'm saying? That's what. Texas freestyle, you know what I'm saying? Texas is built out underground. Everybody from Texas that you ever heard, swear, them boys did a hundred mixtapes before they came out. You know what I'm saying? That's how the grind is, man. You ain't on no mixtapes, you're a nobody. Yeah. <laughs> Real talk. Yeah. That's what it is. Like I said, it's coming out the head, man. You ain't coming out the head with it, man. It ain't, it ain't no freestyle. Yeah. All right, and uh, the last question I want to ask you is, um, when I came down here, like in O2 or whatnot, you know, a lot of a lot of southern hip hop. When I came down here, you know, what I'm saying it was a lot of cats grinding down here, but you know, in places like New York or L.A., like cats in the South, I've noticed got to grind a lot harder to make it. You know, what I'm saying yeah. to the level where it's cats in L.A. Because I know in L.A., you know, you can catch the bus and be at Interscope in 15 minutes. You know what I mean? And you really in the South, a lot of artists don't have that uh, that outlet. So, like, what do you think the current state of hip hop is right now in the South? Because the South is really blowing up and taking over the game in a short amount of time, about two years. It's a good thing, though, because, like, New York and L.A., you know, people do it for, like, a street bug. Down here, we do it to eat. You know what I'm 
what I'm saying? We entrepreneurs, we start entrepreneurship early. And so, uh, you know what I'm saying? We make the major labels want to come touch and take some of our money. So, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's what it is, you know what I'm saying? We get out there and grind. You know what we do down, you know what I'm saying, down south. We so used to the money. We know that we ain't sharing no money with nobody. We know that we, we getting all the money to ourselves. And the only way to get the money is to grind, do it your own way. You only use majors like the, the big stuff, to do the world stuff. And you ain't got to just touch the whole world, you know what I'm saying, to be a medium. So, you know what I'm saying, I grind just to be, to be, you know what I'm saying, down south. We ain't need like no major labels to do that type of stuff. So, you know, hip hop is straight down south because we, eat, we go eat with golf. Yeah. Hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Most people up there, you know what I'm saying, it's dead on the West Coast end. It's not dead, you know what I'm saying? To me, it's just a change in other guards, you dig? Hov and them was young when the dudes they looked up to was rapping, you know what I'm saying? Now, they getting older and it's just a change in other guard, you know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. Change in other guard, you know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. In the South, I don't know what it is, but we can have a bad time and turn it into good, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think it started back with the slaves and stuff, you know what I'm saying? It can be bad, but you can still catch us having some kind of fun. Of course we're going to make party music. You know, that's what we do, you know what I'm saying? You can get a uh, $5 check or uh, whatever, you know what I'm saying? I've been doing bad all week. And now you, everything is gone when you hit the club and you party with your partners, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people, oh, all they do is talk about it. That's what we do. I bet you it's a party right here where we at. Monday through Sunday through Sunday, you know what I'm saying? But that's how we get back. So we gonna, of course we're going to talk about party all the time. That's what I got to say to the East Coast kid and everybody else who says since hip hop got it, it turned into a big party because the South got it. Yes, it has. We used to party in mother, you know what I'm saying? That's what we do. <laughs> That's what's up. And also, uh, you know, there's also a lot of cats, cats around here, especially cats that's on, on my DVD, yeah. that's still trying to make it, you know what I'm saying? And uh, trying to make it in their business and trying to get to where y'all at, you know, as, as well as other artists. But a lot of cats, I think the problem, a lot of cats, they don't really know how to go about doing that. And um, they get discouraged, you know, a couple people say that, that they're not feeling their stuff or stuff like that. So what would y'all tell like some cats right now who's trying to make it, who might see this, like what what, what they should do to keep grinding? Like how would they go about making it to, to where y'all at and like the, the things that y'all went through? All I say is get it. If your homeboys ain't jamming your stuff, man, it really probably ain't hot. You just can't go, oh yeah, I got the new, you know what I'm saying, my hot, you know what I'm saying, ain't nobody bumping. First, you gotta build some kind of foundation, you know what I'm saying? Pass out CDs everywhere, hit these cottages, hit these high schools, try to get a buzz in your city. You lock the city up, the dudes is gonna come to you, you know what I'm saying? Make you get get your buzz straight to the majors come looking for you. I got a partner named Spark Dog, no publicists, no nothing, you know what I'm saying? Every magazine, every mixtape, everything. Just stay on your greasy. Holler at the DJs, do not turn your back on the DJ for a drop of freestyle, let them have it, you dig? And I swear, it's gonna come to you.